Hello everyone, welcome to our today's session. My name is Joshua Aura, principal at Aro Academy. So today I would want us to look at goodwill computation as per IFRS 3, business combinations. Now, first of all, it will be important for us to appreciate the meaning of goodwill, which basically is the difference between the consideration that is paid by the acquirer, acquiring institution, to the acquiree, and the net assets of the acquiree company. So two things here. We are looking at the consideration paid minus what here, net assets of the acquiree. The general formula to calculate goodwill under IFRS is goodwill equals the consideration paid plus fair value over non-controlling interest minus net assets of the acquiry company. We have an exercise here. We are told Hyun acquired 80% of the $30 million one equity shares of a firm known as ABC on 1st January 2019. The consideration was through the offer of a share exchange of two shares issued for every three shares acquired and a cash payment of dollars one per share payable on 31st December 2019. We underscore that this payment is coming one year later after acquisition. It's called deferred consideration. We acquired ABC on 1st January 2019 and then made a promise to pay some balance on 31st December 2019. The fair value of our equity shares were dollars two at 1st January 2019. The fair value of NCA in an controlling interest at acquisition was dollars 20 million. Net assets of ABC at acquisition were worth $50 million. The cost of capital is 10%. They want us to calculate goodwill arising on the date of acquisition. So this is fairly straightforward. I have an Excel here. The very first thing you will have to do is to define the shareholding. We've been told expressly there that we have bought 80% of ABC Limited. Now, how about the subsidiary's number of ordinary shares? The subsidiary's number of ordinary shares we are told here Dune acquired 80% of the $30 million one equity shares of ABC. So you're looking at $30 million. So this $30 million is what we populate here. So we have here $30 million. $30 million shares. Number of uh, ordinary shares acquired by the parent company. Out of these $30 million uh, ordinary shares of ABC, the parent company known as Yun bought 80%. So I'll simply take 80% of 30 million. Relatively easy. So equals, I take 80% times this 30 million, the 30 million there. All right. Number of ordinary shares given out by the parent company, which is Yun. And remember, they had a share to share exchange. The consideration was through the offer of a share exchange of two shares issued for every three shares acquired. So we are told here that the parent company gave out two shares out of three shares acquired. So two out of three times the shares acquired here, which were what here? Which were 24 million. So we have 16 million shares were given out by Dune company. Then we have the fair value of these shares given out by Dune. So we need to ask us ourselves, what was the price of Dune shares on the date of acquisition? So on the date of acquisition, what are we told here? We are told on the date of acquisition, the fair value of Dune equity shares was dollars two at 1st of January, 2019. So in this case here, the fair value of Dune shares were two. So then I'll take two times two times the 16 million like that. So this is the fair value of the shares which were given out by Dune company. 
Now, from there, remember, we made a promise to pay some money. We made a promise of dollars one per share. If you look at this, the consideration was through the offer of a share exchange of two shares issued for every three shares acquired and a cash payment of dollars one per share payable 31st December 2019. So in this case here, we'll come and take the deferred consideration, come and say equals, I promise to pay one for each share that I bought. And remember, I bought how many shares here? 24 million shares. But now remember that this is a, a future payment. It's a deferred payment. So if it's a deferred payment, I have to ascertain its present value. So in short, I have to do what we call discounting. So to discount, I have a functionality within Excel. So present value tab there. We have the cost of capital. I needed to have put this cost of capital down here first. So I'll skip there. Come and put this cost of capital. You'll be given this 10%. So then we have here, I'll come back here and use the present value function. So tab there, 10%, comma. Then we have a number of periods. This money will be paid at the end of year one, right? Say comma there, the payment amount is 24 million. And then you close bracket like that. You say enter, coming as a negative, but I would want in this case here to have this as a positive. So if I press F2 there, I'll be able to see the formula. And then I say negative there. So come back here, which is very good. Okay, so now it comes positive like that. So this cost of capital, I would want to increase my font size or just have this as what here as a percentage. It's better that way as a percentage, yes, like that. And then we have the fair value of non-controlling interest. So fair value of non-controlling interest, this has been given to us. The fair value of non-controlling interest at acquisition was 20 million. So come back here and do the 20 million. So we have 20 million like that. Control enter. And then I'll be able to do what here. Basically, to this is not supposed to be passed. It's a number. Just put it general, right? Edit this to make it 20 million. Like that, yes. And then we have the net assets of the subsidiary. So the net assets of the subsidiary, this has been given in the question. Net assets of the subsidiary, they have given us net assets of ABC at acquisition were worth 50 million. So come here and put there 50 million, 50 million like that. Then now straight I'll be able to compute the goodwill very easily. So then I want the total consideration paid by the parent. The parent gave out its own shares, its own shares whose value is 32 million. Plus, it also made a promise to pay this deferred consideration whose present value is this. So plus that. So I'll take the present value. So in that case here, we have uh, enter fair value of non-controlling interest. I'll come and pull this fair value of non-controlling interest. I'll pull this figure here, 20 million. Then I have the total consideration. I'll say alt equals, I'll add the two. Alt equals, then I'll be able to say enter there. And then we have the net assets of the subsidiary. I have the 50 million. So I'll come and say equals there. I pull this figure there like that. And then we'll be able to have the goodwill at acquisition. Where I'll take in this case here, the total consideration, I say minus the net assets like that. So enter, and this is the goodwill. This is the goodwill that we should be able to recognize on acquisition. If they wanted us to give them goodwill at reporting, then I would have uh, automatically looked for impairment. So they don't want us to go through all that. So please remember to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to sign up for our very practical virtual IFRS classes. Thank you so much.